Hi guys, welcome to our channel Agla Sem Schools. Today we learn about Class Seventh NCERT Mathematics Chapter Four. So let's start with the name of the chapter. What is equation? Equation is anything that has equity. A mathematical statement that has equity. Equity means equals to sign. Anything that has left hand side equals to right hand side is an equation. Right now, the equation has two parts: one, the constant, and the other, the variable. The constant is always a mathematical integer, a mathematical integer such as minus one, one, zero, one by two, anything that is a mathematical integer is a constant. Then comes the variable. Variable is anything that is denoted in an alphabet. Alphabet such as A, B, C, D, etc. Anything denoted in an alphabet is a variable. A simple equation always has just one variable. Then comes the quadratic equation, which we will learn in the higher classes. Let's start with the exercise. Let's start with the first question. The first question here has the equation x plus three equals to zero, and the value of x here is three. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side of the equation. Three plus three is equal to zero. Six is not equal to zero. Hence, this equation, this value of x, does not satisfy the equation. So let's move to the next question. In this uh, question, we have the equation x plus three is equal to zero again, and the value of x here is zero. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side. Zero plus three is equal to zero. Three is not equal to zero. Hence, this value of x does not satisfy. The equation. I have solved first two questions. I'll just explain the next. In the third question, we have the equation x plus three equals to zero. In the value of x here is minus three. We'll put the value of x in the equation and solve the left hand side. Minus three plus three is equal to zero. Zero is equal to zero. Hence, the value of x satisfies the equation. Now further to the next question, we have the equation x minus seven equals to one. X is equal to seven. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side. Seven minus seven equals to one. Zero is not equal to one. Hence, this value of x does not satisfy the equation. In the next question, we have the equation x minus seven equals to one, and the value of x here is eight. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side. Eight minus seven equals to one. One is equal to one. Hence, this value of uh, x satisfies the equation. Now, in the sixth question. We have the equation five x equals to twenty five, and the value of x given here is zero. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side. Five into zero is equal to twenty five. Zero is not equal to twenty five. Hence, this value of x does not satisfy the equation. In the next question, we have the equation five x is equal to twenty five again. And the value of x here is five. We'll put the value of x into the equation and solve the left hand side. Five into five equals to twenty-five. Twenty-five is equal to twenty-five. That's why this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, in the next question, which is a bit tricky, but we'll get it. And the equation is five x is equal to twenty-five. X, the value of x here is minus five. We'll put minus five into the position of x and solve the left hand side. Here, 
the uh, multiplication of a negative sign with a positive sign gives us a negative sign hence the product of these two will be a negative sign so 5 into minus 5 will be minus 25 and minus 25 is not equal to 25 therefore this value of x does not satisfy this equation we'll look the same into the next question the equation given is m by 3 equals to 2 the value of m here is minus 6 we'll put the value minus 6 into the position of m and solve the left hand side minus 6 by 3 now again minus sign divided by plus sign will give us minus sign only so minus 6 by 3 gives us minus 2 not 2 so minus 2 is not equal to 2 therefore this value of m which is minus 6 does not satisfy m by 3 is equal to 0 we look we look at the next question now in the 10th question the equation given here is m by 3 equals to 2 and the value of m given here is 0 we'll put the value of m into the equation and solve the left hand side 0 by 3 is equal to 2 0 is not equal to 2 therefore this value of m does not satisfy the equation in the next question we have the equation m by 3 is equal to 2 again and the value of m this time is 6 we'll put 6 into the position of m and solve the left hand side 6 by 3 equals to 2 2 is equal to 2 therefore this value of m satisfies the equation now let's go into the second question in the second question the first question here is n plus 5 equals to 19 and the value again is given here we have to solve the left hand side and see whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side or not we'll solve first two question and i'll explain the rest of the question to you n plus 5 equals to 19 and the value of n here is 1 We'll put the value of n into the equation and solve the left hand side. 1 plus 5 equals to 19. 6 is not equal to 19. Therefore, this value of n does not satisfy the equation. Now, in the second question, we have the equation n, 7n plus 5 equals to 19 and the value of n given here is minus 2 we'll put the value of n which is minus 2 into the equation and solve the left hand side 7 into minus 2 plus 5 equals to 19 now here the product of minus and plus negative and positive sign gives us negative sign and the product of these two will be a negative 7 into 2 14 plus 5 equals to 19 is what we get now we have minus 14 as a greater integer and 5 as a smaller integer we'll deduct 5 from minus 14 and the sign will be minus only so we get minus 9 which is not equal to 19 hence this value of n does not satisfy the equation in the next question we see the equation 7n plus 5 equals to 19 and the value of n here is 2 we'll put the value of n into the equation and solve the left hand side 7 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 19 14 plus 5 is equal to 19 19 is equal to 19 hence this value of n satisfies the equation let's look at the next question in the fourth question we have equation 4p minus 3 is equal to 13 
the value of p here is 1 we'll put the value of p into the equation and solve the left hand side 4p 4 into 1 minus 3 is equal to 13 4 minus 3 is equal to 13 1 is not equal to 13 hence the value of p here does not satisfy the equation let's look at the next question we have the equation 4p minus 3 equals to 13 the value of p here is minus 4 we'll put the value of p into the equation and solve the left hand side 4 into minus 4 subtracted by 3 is equal to 13 now we have a positive integer multiplied by a negative integer which will give us a negative integer 4 into minus 4 will be minus 16 and a negative integer will always be added by a negative integer 16 min minus 16 minus 3 will be minus 19 so minus 19 is not equal to 13 therefore this value of p does not satisfy this equation let's look at the next question in the sixth question we have the equation 4p minus 3 is equal to 13 in this we have the value of p equals to 0 we'll put 0 into the position of p and solve the left hand side 4 into 0 minus 3 is equal to 13 4 into 0 will be 0 minus 3 is equal to 13 minus 3 is not equal to 13 therefore this value of p does not satisfy this equation in the next question in the third question we have been said to take hit and trial method and see which uh, which value of uh, the variable satisfies the equation so we'll start putting the value of p from 1 and then 2 and then we'll put 3 and then if that uh, if 3 doesn't satisfy the equation we'll put uh, 4 and it goes on so we'll uh, if p is equal to 1 then we'll put the value of p into the position in the equation and solve the left hand side again 5 into 1 plus 2 5 plus 2 is equal to 17 7 is not equal to 17 therefore p the value of p equals to 1 does not satisfy the equation hence this is not the solution we'll put the value of p equals to 2 now 5 into 2 plus 2 equals to 17 5 into 2 10 10 plus 2 equals to 17 12 is not equal to 17 therefore this value of p which is equal to 2 does not satisfy our equation we'll take the value of p equals to 3 now because it is a hit and trial method the one which hits our answer so p equals to 3 we'll put the value of p into the equation 5 into 3 plus 2 equals to 17 5 into 3 equals to 15 plus 2 equals to 17 17 is equal to 17 so we have left hand side and right hand side equal that's why this value of p satisfies this equation so our answer here is p is equal to 3 in the second question we have the equation 3m minus 14 is equal to 4 now because it is a hit and trial method we have to take the value of m starting from 1 and then put every value until it satisfies the equation we have solved some and rest you have to try whether the other integers satisfy the equation or not let's take m equals to 1 and solve the equation 3 into 1 minus 14 equals to 4 
थ्री माइनस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस इलेवन इज नॉट इक्वल टू फोर देर फोर दिस वैल्यू माई एम इक्वल्स टू वन डज नॉट सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन एंड वन इज नॉट द आंसर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन थ्री इंटू थ्री माइनस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फोर नाइन माइनस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस फाइव इज नॉट इक्वल टू फोर देर फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ एम इक्वल्स टू थ्री डज नॉट सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन बिकॉज द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज नॉट इक्वल टू द राइट हैंड साइड नाउ लेट सी इफ एम इक्वल्स टू सिक्स सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एम which is 6 into the equation and see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side or not 3 into 6 minus 14 is equal to 4 18 minus 14 is equal to 4 4 is equal to 4 that's why the value of m here which is 6 satisfies our equation so the answer here is 6 That was all from the exercise. We'll cover the rest of the question in the next video. Hope you like our video. If you did, do press the like button and share it with all your friends. For more updates from NCERT Solutions, do subscribe to our channel, The Agla Sam Schools. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Study well.